Well, if you are out and about today, you may have noticed it was a little bit warmer out there. We are beginning to make some ground and we were at average this afternoon in Eugene, topping out at 46 degrees. That is our average high temperature for this time of year. However, we did start on the chilly side. 22 degrees was our morning low, although that 22 was a degree warmer than where we were at yesterday. So again, making ground not only with our high temperatures, but also our low temperatures. Central Oregon, you saw the upper 30s in both Sun River and Bend this afternoon. Along I-5, we saw 45 in Corvallis, also 45 in Roseburg. Out along the coast, 40s, Florence and Newport. North Bend, though, you topped out at 52 degrees. Temperatures are cooling off across the area. Out along the coast in those low 40s. Along I-5, everyone is in those 30s, but still close to 40 degrees in Roseburg. For those in Central Oregon, into the 20s at this hour, 28 in Bend. But even though it is cold out there, we, again, are warmer than where we were at this time yesterday. This trend is going to continue as we get into the weekend. But we're also going to add in some clouds across the area, something that we really haven't seen over the past couple of days, and also looking at some chances for some light showers. Currently, Storm Tracker 9 radar showing some clouds pushing into the area. It's all ahead of a weak front that we're watching just to our north, bringing some light rain showers into western Washington, snow showers to the mountains. This front does extend offshore, and we are going to watch it to bring us a few light showers, sprinkles, drizzle early in the morning. Nothing too impressive, though. As you can see, here's that front as we put things into motion overnight and into this morning. As it does approach the area, it does fizzle out for the most part. So again, just to mention for the drizzle, sprinkles, light showers, mainly the northern half of the viewing area. So if you draw a line, Florence, Eugene to Bend North, that's the best chance to see some light showers. Otherwise going to be dry. So for those in Douglas and Coos County should be a nice morning. However, we are going to deal with that freezing fog again, like we saw this morning. As we get into the afternoon on Saturday, you can already see the next system. This is going to move into the area as we get into Sunday and now it's tracking a little bit further to the south. So are, we are going to see some showers now into Douglas County and Coos County throughout the day on Sunday, in addition to everywhere else. But we have to get through tomorrow. So tomorrow, not too bad. Some drizzle out along the coast in the morning. Temperatures will be into the low 50s for the afternoon. The Umpqua Basin, again, freezing fog in the morning, definitely creating some slick spots out there, but by the afternoon should have some more sunshine with those highs back into the 40s. The Cascades, 40s in the foothills, 30s over the passes. Also seeing the upper 30s into central Oregon with partly sunny skies for tomorrow. And finally, for the Willamette Valley, looking at some patchy freezing fog out there in the morning, which can create some slick roadways and also slick stairs and porches. So be safe once you head out early tomorrow morning. We'll have more sunshine, though, the second half of the day. Seven-day forecast along the coast. More showers moving in again on Sunday with a bit of a stronger system, bringing showers through Monday morning. We'll have a break from the rain for most of next week, keeping the clouds and keeping those warmer temperatures back into the mid-50s. The Amcor Basin looking at rain showers moving in the second half of Sunday, continuing into Sunday night. We are dry, though, mainly from Monday through Wednesday. Temperatures rebounding back into the low 50s. Overnight lows even close to 40 degrees in the Amcor Basin, something we really haven't seen this whole week. The Cascades snow showers initially with this system. Sunday Sunday into Sunday night, transitioning to rain showers. We do have a chance for rain again on Thursday, followed by another chance for snow on Friday for the ski resorts. And finally, for the Willamette Valley, a few sprinkles early tomorrow morning. Not going to be much, though. We'll have some patchy freezing fog out there in the morning. We do have a better chance for rain, though, Sunday into Sunday night. Isolated showers there. But as we get into the work week or school week, looking at milder temperatures, you're not going to have to layer your kids in 10 layers to keep them warm <laughs> in the morning. It'll be back near average. Still on the chilly side, upper 30s, but at least it's not those teens like we saw a couple days ago. It doesn't take long for those teens to just really grab you. So it's, yeah. They bite. Yes. yes. It's so chilly. Yes. They hurt almost. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Marissa.